Anti-diabetic drugs, thiazolidineons, include bioglitazones, rosiglitazone, and troglitazone. Bioglitazone is commonly used. Rosiglitazone is restricted in many countries due to cardiovascular risk, including Pakistan. And troglitazones are withdrawn worldwide because it causes hepatotoxicity. What's the mechanism of action of these drugs? They are P power gamma agonists. They increase the peripheral insulin sensitivity and decrease the hepatic gluconeogenesis and improve lipid profile in which they decrease the triglycerides, increase HDL and bioglitazone also cause lowering of LDL. They do not directly stimulate insulin secretion but they increase the insulin sensitivity. What are the side effects of these drugs? They cause weight gain, fluid retention and edema and there is increased risk of bone fractures especially in women. Serious side effects include heart failure due to fluid retention, macular edema which is rare, hepatotoxicity due to troglitazone, increased bladder cancer risk due to pioglitazone. Next is risk of hypoglycemia minimal. Effect of weight gain is they cause weight gain due to increased subcutaneous fat and fluid retention. Overall neutral effect. Glycemic control, they reduce the HbA1c by 0.5 to 1.4 percent, which takes about 6 to 12 weeks. Next is whether we can use these drugs in liver, kidney or heart patients. No, they are not safe in cardiac patients, not safe in renal patients, not safe in liver patients. Why? Because they are metabolized by the liver and renal profile is because they cause edema and as they cause fluid retention, so they should be avoided in chronic heart failure. Next is, they are cheap and easily available. Brands include these, Pioser, for example, very much famous in Pakistan. And other brands are Actos, Pioglar, Pios, Evendia. Next is, how we use them. First of all, we start with 15 mg. After one week, we can increase to 30 mg then to 45 mg. So this is all about the anti-diabetic drugs group thiazolidandions.